And so, to get us started on our journey, we're going to hear from one of the world's leading human rights activists. Now, she's had a truly incredible life. She was born in Hungary, she lived through the Nazis, made her way to America, put herself through college, and has become one of the strongest voices for social good. So, please welcome Ava Haller. I have never seen a better group of people in my life. And what an honor to listen to Zuriel. So. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. It's good to have you. Now, I want to start at the beginning. Back to when you were 12 years old, which is the same age as I am now. Now, when the Nazis occupied your country, how did your life change? And what did it teach you about yourself? You know, it's almost impossible to imagine what it is like to have a home, to have a family, to have an identity, and suddenly it's all gone. And when that happens, you lose your own sense of who you are because you believe that maybe you are no longer wanted and that you are no longer part of a whole fabric of society. Because we are all defined by our country, by our friends, by our home, by our family. So when that happens, you have very few opportunities, but that's when you decide, I have the power, I have the strength, and I will do whatever it takes that I will survive. Wow, wow. Um, now, when you were 22, you made your way to New York City with very little money. You then took a job cleaning people's houses to pay for your education. Yes. Where did you find the drive, and what did you learn from this experience? You know, we are all so lucky here. Every one of you here is getting an education. You are going to take that education and will make something very special of yourselves. So when an immigrant comes to America, and I know your family were immigrants, and they came to give you and themselves a better life, it's done through education. Because that's the only way you can get ahead, and through education you can help others in their future. And that's very true, because education is very important in life if you want to be able to, su to succeed later on in the future. Now, years later, you took a pretty big transition in your life. You owned a super successful communications company, but instead, you decided to travel to Southeast Asia with your husband to volunteer with UNICEF for one year. What led to that trip? You know, when you can afford to stop working for a while and go around the world and share whatever you learned, it is an amazing honor and it's an amazing opportunity to do all the things that you are learning here today and have been learning for the year. Because what you are doing and what we were doing was to feel good about sharing what we have earned in a country that gave us this opportunity. Now, you have spent your life fighting for dozens of important causes, from encouraging women leaders, to getting people to volunteer, from environmental protection, to education and the arts. You even marched with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in Selma. Now, where do you find your passion? And what motivated you to get involved with helping others? You know, 
everybody in their life has somebody that means the most in terms of influencing us. My brother John was my hero. He was killed by the Nazis. And I wanted to honor his memory with a life that I wanted to lead and a life that I think he would have been proud of. So to honor him, I have dedicated my life to do the kind of things that I have passion for. Civil rights, human rights, women's rights, children's rights. And you know, one other thing, I have been incredibly fortunate to have the opportunity for the last 16 years to be on the board of Free the Children. And I have learned so much. And my grandkids have all gone to Africa and Asia and China and all over the world, Ecuador, and learned through Free the Children of what it means to grow into magnificent human beings. Now, you have before talked about the importance of men mentorship and how any of us can become a mentor. What do you look for in a mentor and who do you look up to? You know, mentoring is, is a wonderful thing. And every one of you here are mentors. You mentor your brothers, your sisters, your classmates. And you know, I have had amazing mentors when I came to this country. And I owe so much of what became of me because of them. So keep on mentoring, keep on helping, keep on communicating, keep on instructing, and you are going to find all the passions in your lives. And thank you. Thank you so much for joining us, Ava. I'm sure y'all learned a lot. Right, Wee Day? Thank you, it's been a real pleasure.